Hi, I'm Jason Rohde. In this screencast, I'd like to quickly share with you how easy it is to get started creating a course podcast feed using Feeder. Here I have opened the Feeder app on my Mac. Uh, Feeder is my preferred podcast uh, RSS feed creation tool of choice. Uh, it creates any number of types of RSS feeds manually if you want to manually create an RSS feed. Feeder is a great tool for that. There are other uh, tools out there. Um, that certainly would accomplish the same thing. I'm just going to share with you kind of my approach and my, my workflow. So here you can see a listing of the different course podcast feeds um, that I have. And I actually keep my current feeds, but then I also um, have archives of uh, former versions of the podcasts. And you can see, for example, uh, this course I taught uh, summer 2011. Here are all the episodes of the feed. Um, and it's very easy to get started creating a new feed. All you simply do is uh, you'd go up and click on this new feed button. You can either create a brand new one from scratch. Uh, you can import a file that you already have located on your computer or download a feed that is already hosted somewhere online. But if we were to create a new one from scratch, clicking on the new feed option, depending on the type of podcast feed that you want to create, you would select a template. Now, typically, uh, if you're going to plan on submitting your podcast to iTunes so your students can easily subscribe to it there, uh, you would want to select iTunes Podcasting. If you just want a general podcasting feed that doesn't also include the iTunes-specific uh, metadata fields, um, you could go with this podcasting, uh, just simple podcasting uh, RSS option. I recommend the iTunes Podcasting. If you were submitting your podcast to iTunes U, um, there also, uh, you could select that template if you wish but you simply then choose the uh, template for your feed and then uh, the software walks you through the process it's very easily give your your tight uh, podcast a title a description um, you can choose the podcasting uh, categories that iTunes will ask you for um, you can drag album artwork here so if you have an image that you want to be the visual representation of your podcast you drag that here um, and then uh, you simply walk through the steps uh, step by step it will it'll walk you through creating that feed um, so I'm gonna uh, cancel out of here so just to give you an example of then how you update a feed so here's here's a, a current podcast feed for a course podcast and now each episode of your podcast then will be a new uh, a new episode a new item if you will so I could go up and create a new item and uh, simply here from here I could go through the steps of, of putting in a title and a link and, and basically just filling in the fields. All you have to do, Feeder takes uh, care of all the work of creating the HTML or the XML, I should say, code um, that uh, is needed. So you just fill in the, the fields uh, with the various uh, info items. What I typically do after I've created one is I just duplicate it. So I'll right click on this module for introduction. I'll duplicate it. And so now I have noticed two module four introductions. And then I can go in, right click again, and I can edit this one. So I could make this, uh, I could go in and make this uh, module five, for example. And then what's really important, probably the most important piece of your uh, every item in your podcast, every episode, is the location for where uh, the link to your podcast file. So here you can see I have the location. Uh, with some within my Dropbox in my public folder for this particular mp3 file and so within Dropbox by pulling up uh, pull up my Dropbox here and uh, here you can see I have my different episodes so maybe I want to put in the module 6 introduction uh, simply right clicking on that file within uh, Dropbox the, logged in onto the, the web interface I can copy then the public link uh, copy that to my clipboard and then if I go back to uh, feeder, that's what I would paste in this article link. Uh, the same thing here, I would paste that into this enclosure, put in a description, the iTunes subtitle and summary, and then uh, you can preview it, um, save it. I'm not gonna save this one. Um, and then what I do is I go ahead finally and I do a save as, and I save this into my Dropbox, into my public folder uh, for this particular course. So I would basically overwrite my existing podcast.xml file, and um, and then this would automatically be uploaded to my Dropbox, and uh, students subscribed would receive the new episode automatically.